It's that time again. Today, I make the two hour drive to one of my absolute favorite fishing spots to fish for one of my absolute favorite freshwater species. Thus far, it's been a rain-filled spring, and the forecast for today calls for rain again. And as much as I want to say, F*** you, rain, go away, I won't, because I know that the warm spring rains bring life to the Great Lakes tributaries. The fish gods continue to taunt me with perfect conditions during the week and dismal conditions during the weekends. Join me as I pull up my big boy pants and show the fish gods that a little rain, an earthquake, or even a fire tornado won't stop me from catching fish. Because I'm always DTF. going to be trying out a combination of lures and hand-tied jigs today. I'm not gonna give myself too many limitations since conditions obviously aren't the best, but the water hasn't muddied up yet. It started raining early this morning and the water level is actually quite low so we could use some rain here. Try to look on the positive side of things. But so far this spring we have had excellent conditions during the week and terrible or dismal conditions on the weekend and this is one of the better days that I've had so far this spring. The guys who can fish more than once a week and can fish during the week probably haven't noticed but it has been a cursed spring and it was a cursed spring last year too with terrible conditions on the weekend and great conditions during the week. But we're out here again enjoying nature just soaking it in and I have no further complaints. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Matt's going to be joining me today and the plan is to move around and we're going to try and find the fish. And then we're gonna try and catch them, but uh, we're not gonna stay in one place all day more than likely. Every time there's a dramatic change in the weather, in the water, in the conditions in general, the fish tend to move around, not stay in one spot. So we gotta find them first. Starting out here guys with the Blue Fox Vibrax number five. It's like a blue and chrome and black color. Really good color for smallies. The blue and chrome and silver and white colors when it's clear water. Our lights out. If it does muddy up a bit, we'll bring out something brighter like some orange, chartreuse, something like that. Got one. <laughs> it's a nice one too. Oh boy. Look at that guys. Nice chunky one to start it off. I'm gonna grab a quick measurement on this guy just for reference throughout the day so I'm better at guessing at how long they are. This guy's right at 15. Not a bad fish to start. Now let's get another one, but this time let's be prepared. Let's get our net opened up here. I had that spinner moving very slowly, which gives me hope for some of my finesse techniques, including my hand tied jigs. So we're gonna try that in a bit, but let's see if we can uh, get another one on the spinner first. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what in the hell was that? There's my line out there. I'm fairly sure what happened is that I hooked a log on the bottom, but I've never had my braid break so high on the hook set like that before. See if I can catch my braid here. So I've got my line here. Look at this guys. Look at that. Got my spinner back. I want to believe it was a fish, but uh, most likely that was a log. I'm gonna continue on here with the hand tied jig and see if we can get another one. The jig I'm using here is the Arctic hair jig. It's a white zonker jig tied on the Mega Bass Okashira 1 8 ounce jig head. In my pond testing, this was one of the stars, the standout jigs that I tied, but I have yet to try it in some big water. 
And I got one on the first cast. <laughs> That's special, guys. On a jig I tied with my own two hands. Oh, not ready to come in yet. There we go. First smallie on the hand tied jig. It looks to be about a 12, 13 incher. And it was on the first cast. How incredible is that? See you later, bud. Got one. Ooh. Stay down. <laughs> oh, he's a fighter. Looks like a chunky one. There we go. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful fish. Definitely the biggest one today. Gotta get a measurement on this one. Perfect hook set there with the Arctic hair jig. All right, the big one of the day now. 17 and a quarter. 17 and a quarter and fat. Look at that guy. What a beautiful fish. All right, 17 and a quarter is the new size to beat. If we can uh, get a master angler on the hand tied jig today, my life would just be complete. I could die a happy man. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but this is the action of the Arctic hair jig. Thus far, it has been irresistible to bass. Large mouth and small mouth. Now I only have two of these with me, so hopefully we don't run into a pike and lose it. Oh my, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I just broke off on a big smallie. No, dude. I'm sorry. I want my hand tied jig back. I want to save that smallie, but nothing I can really do there. I feel like my knot was good, so. I'm not sure how that happened. Man, that hurts. That jig was super effective. I've only got one left. I'm gonna try a different one for now. And I'm gonna come back to the Arctic hair jig if this isn't working, but uh, this is just another little zonker jig I tied up in an olive pattern. Makes for a really good goby imitation, sculpin imitation. It's technically a leech pattern, but it's gonna work regardless. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure I didn't film my last fish catch, but I did film the release but we're on uh, smallmouth number four. We're seeing them move around. We might have ourselves a really good day today. I'm gonna try to catch as many as I can on the hand-tied jigs, but I'm not afraid to uh, bring out the store-bought stuff if I need to. Got one. Feels like a pretty nice one. I think I got a pretty decent one over here, Matt. They all fight so hard, but it is a pretty nice one. There we go. Another nice big fat smallie. Look at that guy. Ooh. Buddy, that's that might be an 18er. About 17 and three quarters or so. 17 and a half. Let's get this big girl released here. Well guys, this is why when conditions are tough, you don't just pack it in. You gotta keep trying. I've had more fun already this morning than I've had in the past months combined. I've been catching fish, just it's been a real struggle. Nothing video worthy. And I feel like we're finally on one of those bites today. And I'm doing it with hand tied jigs right now, which is just making me so happy. Oh, I had one. I let him go. But this zonker jig here can be used to imitate a wide variety of things. Leeches, bait fish, 
just about anything really. Just has a great shape and a great action. Rabbit hair is just magical. It's a magical material. With that last fish, our new length to beat is 17 and a half. Just a little bit over that 17 and a quarter. Anything over 18 is considered really big for this spot, but there are the occasional 21 inches in here. Master angler smallies can be caught in this river. Right now I'm just letting this jig get down close to the bottom. I'm gonna slow pop it back to me. Got one. <laughs> Ate it off the bottom. Oh. Ate it right off the bottom. Another another pretty good one here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. almost evaded the net there. <laughs> pretty sloppy by me. I think they're interpreting that as a leech or a goby, some easy protein. And they're chewing today, boys. Another nice one. This one's definitely got some scars, but he's otherwise a healthy fish. Off he goes. Throw this thing back out there. Let it settle down to the bottom. And we're gonna slow twitch it back. Extra long pauses. There are certainly some snags and sticks and things on the bottom, but that's where we're gonna get bit. If I lose this jig, I have some similar patterns that might be even better. I'm going to do my best to keep the rain off of my camera lens for you guys. We're going to keep fishing. It's still pretty bright outside here to be raining this hard. So earlier in the video guys, if you remember, I broke off my spinner. And uh, what I wanted to show you guys here is that the spoon on my spinner is bent. It was not like that before. So I have no idea what broke me off, but whatever it was, likely bent this spoon right down the middle, and I'm thinking it might have been a big northern pike. I've never had 20 pound braid break that far up the line on a hook set before. So I don't know. Could have been something big. <laughs> Got one on the fall. Good thing I decided to pay attention there. He's a jumper. Seems like a pretty nice fish. See if I can start making my way over to my net here. Just so we don't risk anything. There we go. Another nice smolly. Out here in the rain, just hammering smallies on the leech pattern. Beautiful, beautiful thing. You know what guys, I don't say it enough and I've been pretty negative over the past month with uh, all the poor conditions out here for fishing and stuff, but uh, I just wanna say I am blessed to be in a state like this with fishing spots like this and to be able to go out once a week and uh, and go to these really cool spots and, and just catch fish. It's what I love to do, and I'm hoping that before the time I'm retired, I'll be able to fish more than once a week and do it for a living. So if you guys don't mind, if you are enjoying the video, hit the like button for me, it really helps. All right guys, we've got a nice break in the rain now. Action died down for me a little bit on the hand-tied jigs and I lost a couple of them so far. And man, it hurts to lose those hand-tied jigs. So I'm switching over to a spinner. Matt's been catching a few on the smaller side. He just got a 16 incher. And we're gonna try to uh, get some more here in the same little, same little spot here. It's been a productive hole for us so far. The fish seem to be loaded up in here. Got one. First cast with the spinner. Doubled up, brother. Ooh. He's an acrobat. Smaller male. Not a big one, but uh, Matt and I just doubled up for the first time today. Nice. See if we can get another one on the spinner here. Got one. 
Ooh. He's trying to throw me. There we go. Another nice little male. Later into the morning here, Matt and I have both been catching these smaller males, little 14 and 15 inch males. All right guys, the bite died off a little bit there and the fish that we were catching were on the smaller side. So we're gonna go uh, hunting, see if we can find some big girls up the river. And uh, Matt and I both are making the journey, trying to find something bigger. We both wanna catch a master angler if possible, but um, anything bigger than what we're catching here right now would be good. 14 to 15 inches is kind of the average size we've got over the past hour. What do you think, Matt? We're gonna get one? Oh yeah, a couple more. A couple more. We're gonna try to catch some giants. Come along. All right, we've arrived here at the new spot. We're gonna move around, bounce around this bank, around this bend here, see if we can find some more smallies. Starting out here again with the Blue Fox Super Vibrax number five. But I also brought my hand-tied jigs because I want to use those some more. we got a couple hours left. See how many we can catch. And hopefully something big. Got one. Woo! Oh yeah. He's angry, Matt. Ooh, he's angry. Another little male. Whoop. All right, so we just popped down to this new spot and already Matt and I have both caught one. All right, guys, I put the spinner away for a minute. Going back to hand-tied jigs, I got another Arctic hair jig. It's not the best one that I've tied, but it should be fine. Got one. On the Arctic hair again. Keep him out of these lay downs all around me there we go it's a little bit nicer one there on the arctic hair jig all right guys i just broke off another one of my hand tied jigs so i'm switching over to the dark sleeper here something a little bit more weedless and hopefully won't break off matt's uh, got a few bites on the tube so far and so I think the dark sleeper is gonna get them. This happens to be my most productive color and I'll argue with anybody about it. This is the Mutsuguru, Mutsuguru? I think that's what it's called, Mutsuguru. Whatever it is, it's got the little blue spots on it and it works. Yeah, I got, a few minutes left. got one. On the dark sleeper. There we go, nice fish on the dark sleeper there. I was just about to say that it would be a little bit bizarre if I didn't catch any on the dark sleeper today. One of my most trusted smallmouth lures for sure and I butchered the Japanese pronunciation of the pattern here but I think it's Mutsugoru, Mutsugoru. But in clear water, this is definitely my favorite pattern. The Wagasaki one is really good. It's a little bit brighter. It works in clear water and stained water but specifically in clear water, this is the one I like to throw. Caught that one on the steady retrieve. Typically I'll hop this thing on the bottom, but it wasn't getting it done. I started to steady retrieve it and got hit pretty much right away. If you guys haven't seen my dark sleeper hacks video, I suggest you check it out. This one has a three millimeter glass rattle inside it. And it just got another one. Make sure I got that hook in there. All right, pretty sure we got him this time. Another smaller one. That last one dodged the net and I just let him release himself basically is what happened. Something swimming around right there in the middle. Got one. <laughs> Try not to have a repeat of last time here.
They really like to dodge that net. And they're really good at it too. Oh my gosh. He knows exactly where that net is. And he does not want to go inside. Another aggressive little male on the dark sleeper. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, I am packing it in. It's gonna be really hard for me to leave this spot because I've been having so much fun, but what a day. What a beautiful day. Came in with low expectations. The weather forecast was bad. It did rain on us. The wind did blow a bit, but overall it was much better than they said it was going to be. Just goes to show, you know, if I have the opportunity, I gotta get out there and fish. So I'm glad I came out today. I'm glad Matt came out today. We had a great time, and I'm glad that you guys are here enjoying this with me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.